Hello my beautiful friends, welcome back to my channel and today I'm gonna teach you how I use Google Calendar to win at life. Literally win at life. If you're anything like me, I have a difficult time executing on things even if I'm really interested and excited on them. I have been challenged throughout history at getting things out of the notes on my phone into actuality, even if these ideas could provide a lot of value to people, the greater community, and the world in general. So this is a method and a strategy that I've been using to really up my game. This has been working for me. I have become a whole new being lately. I am so, so, so proud of myself and the work that I've been doing lately. And let's talk about structure really quickly before we get into this. I have wafted between being a very A-type personality who lived and died by structure, and I swung into a state where I was very kind of obtuse in the world, if you will, no structure, free flowing, going with whatever the universe threw at me, and that meant my schedule too. My misconception was that creativity lived in the free flowing, open going with the flow state, not in the structured state. So what I came to understand for me, and maybe for you, structure breeds creativity. So it kind of seems counterintuitive, at least to me it did. What I learned was when I set out these specific blocks, you know, an hour and a half to two hours, where I have a target that I wanna reach, the only thing that I'm allowed to do during these blocks is either do the task that I've set out for myself or sit there. So there's no other distractions. And while I'm really comfortable meditating and sitting by myself, oftentimes my brain decides that it does in fact want to work on that task. And what I find is a lot of creativity is created and built out of that because I just give myself a small goal, a block of time, and then I let my creative expansion come through. So I'm gonna go through my Google Calendar. This is the way that I block my life. I'm gonna explain each block and why I do it. The cool thing about Google Calendar is you can change and update this with what your goals are and what you're trying to create and change and do in your life. This is just what works for me and I wanna share it with you. So this runs from Sunday to Saturday. Every day I segment into a focus. So there's lots of different projects I work on, lots of different things I create. Right now my main focus while I'm waiting for the next idea to arrive or the next invitation if you follow human design is focusing on reinvigorating my excitement towards making content. I've burnt myself out in the past eight years of being a content creator probably 30, 40, 50 times. The last burnout I had was extremely jarring and I really scared myself because when I burnt out, I changed a lot and I was so nervous to create content again. So I'm trying to do exposure therapy and get back into creating content. So here I am. The days are segmented by different things. So Monday is my brainstorm day. Brainstorming to me is the time spent where I let my mind be as wide as possible. I let myself get creative. I might go and read something that's gonna inspire me to think broader, go for a walk, spend time in nature, that sort of thing. Anything that's gonna really get my creative juices flowing. So my rising routine starts at 6 a.m. I typically wake up naturally at 6 a.m. and if I don't, then Yuri, my great Dane, she gets really hungry and she decides to wake me up at 6 a.m. This is just part of my schedule now and it, it's dark in Canada when I wake up, but I've really grown to love like waking up with the light. So my rise routine looks pretty similar for every day, subtracting maybe some things that would work better on a recording day. Like for example, I'll be doing my makeup on a recording day. On a posting day, I might not. On a finance morning, I would be dotting my professional business outfit. So they all look a little bit different every day that I have different categories, but it's been pretty much the same and I'm gonna be doing a separate video on my morning routine. All right, so now I am into my routine. I'm easy in the flow and I move into focused action. I've read that three hours after you wake, your brain is in the best state that it's gonna be for the whole day in terms of creativity, focus, and action. So I set this focused action at from nine until 11, 
And I actually have a small break there where I only do focused action for an hour and a half. They say that 90 minutes is the typical max amount of time that you want to take when you're, especially when you're doing really focused work. So this looks different for every day. Some days for brainstorm, it's going to be me sitting in front of Notion, writing down all the different ideas I have, um, maybe starting to script out some of the videos that I want to make, maybe starting to write some captions for social media and doing planning around that space. So it's anything that I have to actively put my attention to and work on that's considered focused action. And then I take a 30 minute break. This could be filled with whatever you guys are into. This is the fun part, treat yourself, treat yourself. You just did an hour and a half focused action, treat yourself. Then I move into writing. So my focus has been to write more. I feel like writing for me is the healthiest outlet that I have. I don't have a lot of people in my life currently where I can talk about the big ideas that are coming into my head constantly around reorganizing communities and social systems and creating DAOs and new businesses and blockchain. So writing for me has been a great outlet for me to take the ideas that are up in my head and just get them on paper. And what I've noticed through this writing exercise that a lot of those ideas that I have while I'm writing, they get expanded and I, I learn more while also getting a lot of ideas for types of content that I want to create and captions I want to make or things I might say in the future. So writing has been really, really impactful for me. Nourish. Nourish is what I write for. Have food or <laughs> nourish your body in some way. We all nourish differently. So for me, this would probably look like some fried eggs with some turmeric and coconut oil, microgreens. I've been having a lot of sauerkraut and anchovies lately. It's different every day. I just intuitively ask my body what it wants and it tells me. The next, I have a block for two hours of meetings. I've had some days where appointments and meetings have turned into two hours, three hours, four hours, five hours, six hours, but I like to have this block in here. I don't mind if it comes in and into focused action um, or focused learning because oftentimes meetings do feel like a form of action and learning depending on who I'm talking to. So I'm okay if this gets changed out a bit, but I just know that once I've eaten, once I've worked on stuff, then I'm mentally prepared to engage people and that's the typical flow. I also make sure that Tyler knows to book meetings within that time slot. So focus learning. I love learning. Anytime I can learn, it just brings my entire spirit into like a state of ecstasy. I don't know how else to describe it. I love watching videos on astronomy, physics, chemistry, blockchain, crypto, NFTs, DAOs, spirituality, body hacking, psychedelics. There's so many different things that I'm interested in. I love watching YouTube videos. I love reading books. I love discussing these topics with people. I'm really hoping that through making more videos like this, I can continue to develop my Discord. And if any of those topics interest you, I would love if you joined my Discord and we can talk about them together. Like sometimes I just sit there, I'm like, oh my gosh, I just wish I could get on a call with someone who's also interested in these topics and we can talk about it. Like I have such a yearning to be surrounded by people that have similar interests as me and I feel pretty isolated lately, but I think that's gonna change. So this is me putting myself out there. Please, please, if you're interested in any of those topics, join my Discord. My focus learning typically will relate to what I'm doing that day, like brainstorming, recording, posting, uh, DAO stuff for finance. I put structures in here. They're kind of meant to be changed and broken if you need. So social media interactions, woo! I only give myself an hour a day to be on social media and it's not even typically scrolling because sometimes I let myself do focused learning on Twitter. A lot of the people that I follow on Twitter are so great at creating information and on point discussion topics. So social media interactions is purely responding to comments, replying to DMs, creating posts and posting itself too. So that has its own block. Other than that, I don't use social media. <laughs> I, can I can show you. So this is what my Instagram feed looks like. It's literally just my own content. And so I never scroll Instagram anymore. I only use it to post myself. This has changed my entire life. I only look at the content if I feel called to look at it, not 
just the algorithm constantly feeding me new information. Like ever since they took away the timeline and they replaced it with the algorithm, like I found that so frustrating. I'm done with using Instagram beyond um, posting because I still think it's a great way to communicate with you guys. I personally don't use TikTok anymore either. I just found that it was really starting to sway the way that I felt about myself, the way I felt about my relationship, the way I felt about work and the world. and. I want to be able to create my feeling of my life from me, not from other influence. So no more social media. Okay, then I have another nourish block and then free time. So this can look like anything. My free time lately has been spent reading science fiction. I just switched. I've read so much nonfiction because I was trying to be productive and learn more and evolve myself. And then I realized that I wasn't really doing anything for pleasure anymore. It was all for self growth, and I was like, Ugh. I was like, wait, <laughs> I'm not really living. Hang on a second. So I changed that up, and so now I'm reading science fiction, which is turning in my free time days are turning into a whole day. Like this Sunday, I spent the entire day. I woke up, I started reading. Before dinner, I finished the book, and it was great. It was. It's called To Sleep in a Sea of Stars by Paolini. He wrote the Inheritance series, the Aragon books. And he wrote a science fiction book and it was great. It was really beautiful. I enjoyed it, so I would recommend it. And I got a bunch more. So as I read, I'll share them with you guys. And maybe we can do a book club. I would love to do a book club. Let's do a book club and talk about books. <laughs> I just want I just want more friends that have similar interests. That's it. And they're coming because they're you watching this right now. If you're interested in this stuff, we're already friends. We're already friends. Yeah. Uh, 30 minutes I read in the morning is typically spiritual texts like Hinduism, Buddhism, conversations on Tao, and also Tantra and Osho books. So typically it's more spiritual focus, although I've been switching to reading a story from this new book in the morning called Stories of Your Life and Others by Ted Chiang. It, they are <laughs> really great and I've been reading one of those every morning instead because it just really gets you thinking about life and existence and I just, I love being poked right now and provoked. It's just chef's kiss. So after free time is my resting routine. This typically looks like no more phones, no more iPads, no more reading. The only time I'll use my phone is to put like maybe a talk on from YouTube, more of like a spirituality focused, positivity, Wayne Dyer, Abraham Hicks style, where I just kind of start to wind down. I spend time with the animals. I might do another meditation or a little bit of yoga. And it's just slowing down, getting off of screens and letting my mind move out of that kind of magnetic heightened state into more of a calm state. And I also will switch to only using candles and that has changed my life too. So when it's not during the day, I've been trying to use a lot more candle light and that just has put a huge calmness on my nervous system. So Friday's a half day because Friday's Finance Friday and for Finance Friday, I don't wanna think about doing a whole day because this is the thing that I look forward to the least. So this is the system that works for me where I can only do a half day of finance. That means getting my statements together, talking to accountants, talking to business managers, changing up my investments, all those things, no, half a day max, okay, <laughs> once a week. And then so the rest of the day, I learn, try new things and meet new people. So this has become going rock climbing. I'm signing up for my scuba diving certificate before I go to Egypt. This could be when I go and do polar dips with friends or, or with new friends, actually, you guys saw that video. So I really like to leave my Fridays and then also the whole day on Saturday. Um, where I kind of just set aside time where I'm like, okay, what are other things to do in my city that are fun, that are engaging, that I can meet new people in and also try new things and trying to get that be part of my calendar. Cause I think over time we just get in the habits of like, oh, I like rock climbing. So I just do that every week instead of trying ice skating, joining a board game club or things like that. So I like to have that time they're structured. And then Sunday is my do nothing slash fast. So this is the day that I try and not look at technology at all, even though I'm reading books on my Kindle, but no technology, no gaming, no working obviously. And I also fast, I do a water fast. So I only drink water and certain teas 
during that day and I give my whole body and mind a day to just like, it's kind of like a breathing out. And that has by far been the best change in my life, has been adding weekly fasting in from food and content. The inhale is just as important as the exhale. The work is just as important as the rest. And I have found that through adding this to my life, it has absolutely elevated my creativity, my connection with others, my clarity, my burnout, I haven't burnt out in a really long time, and my overall health, mental wellness, and happiness. So that is my calendar. I hope that watching this, you guys feel a little bit inspired to create your own. If you do create one, I would love if you could post it and tell me why you've changed certain aspects or done certain things so that I can refine my own too. Like this could be a give and take. Post that in my Discord. I'll create a special channel that is just for these calendar hacking, and then let me know how it goes. I'm really excited to see what you do in order to just embody and be your fullest best self. That's what I want my content to be. I want to be the light mirror. I want you to look in the mirror and see the light of yourself in this world. See your own creativity, your own access to genius, your own access to love, and let's start sharing that with the world. Okay, I'm getting ahead of myself. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to spank that thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more videos like this. And if you leave a comment down below, I would love to learn what you do in your life to bring more creativity through structure. Bye.